Well, I think you might agree with me that the notes that you see here that uh, decorate this particular drawing are a little confusing. If I select Kaikuyu Turf, that's sitting there, and then if I pick Midland Brick, there are several lines to that particular entity. The entity is drawn with a leader, if you look over here in the properties bar, but we can improve that dramatically by changing the line space factor. Let's make it 0.7 and just see what that does. I'll unselect all. I think we could even make it a little better by dropping that to 0.5 and enter. And I think then we could use the modify and match properties tools to pick up the properties of that one and match it to that and match it to that. So that, I hope you, th you agree with me, improves things. I'm not a fan of leaders crossing one another like that. So I'd be inclined to pick this leader up and pop it like so and then unselect all and move this one down to the turf. Note when you select a leader such as this you can control the landing direction. You can control, that's the little, little small ending bit, but you can also control the attachment. I could say I want that on the corner. You see the attachment dropped. Let me escape from there. The attachment drops from this midpoint down there. So some of those may be useful to you. If we change this one to vertical, can you see now, let me unselect, the label comes from the bottom of the leader. So I would prefer that to be horizontal. I'm relatively happy with that now. I think, don't forget to make the leader use tools and draw order and bring it to the front. Now the, the leader shows nicely. The blob on the end of the leader is done by changing the dimension style and we come down through here we say a leader will terminate with a dot and I've pushed the arrow size or that's the dot diameter up to 250. So we now have a series of notes over here that I think make a little more sense and we want those to be um, the same over the whole design. So let's modify and match properties, pick it up again. I'm trying to match it over here, but that's, that's in fact multi-line text. So we'll change our line spacing to 0.5 in there, which in the case of multi-line text is just a little bit too close and we'll come over here and move that like so. That's actually not the multi-line text per se. I need to move this one out to there. And if I escape now, that is better. I think I would be inclined to squeeze that down to a reasonable size and do that. pick up all of that one and just move that to the right there. This one here is definitely a leader and we can use match properties, right click, pick it up there to there. So I think we've done reasonably well now. We, we have our design looking quite neat and tidy. I think I'd be inclined to I was going to say put Beach Road horizontally, but I'm happy with that.